Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's me. It's the Mass Man. I'm back again for another video. And in today's video, <clears throat> I'm going to be talking about Dave Chappelle's new uh, special, A46. Now, the reason I say special instead of comedy special is because this special was not really a comedy special it was not it was not in 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 fact or in form a comedy special there were some jokes sprinkled in but it wasn't really a comedy special so in Dave Chappelle's new special, 846, um, I really look at it like Dave Chappelle took the time to make a special where he stepped outside of the, the context of interviewer, interviewee. And he basically gave an interview of himself for to, to talk about what's going on right now. He basically interviewed himself to and given and, and was given his thoughts on what's going on in, in, in the world today without having to engage in a back and forth manner with, with, with another person who may or may not be antagonistic with him. He just got to express himself freely and sort of lay down um, his point of view on what's going on in the public. And that's basically is the streets is speaking for themselves. And he doesn't need to step out in front of that and try to be a leader of the movement as a celebrity. And I respect Dave for that. I have to say, anytime that Dave Chappelle does anything, I, I, I'm a viewer. I'm a watcher. I'm a fan. Um, I checked it out. Uh, this, as soon as I saw it, I didn't know what it was. When I saw it, I didn't. I just saw eight minutes forty six. I saw it on suggested videos. I didn't even. I didn't even know that it was a special. I thought it was another thing like he did with Seinfeld and comedians and cars getting coffee. I thought it was something like that. So when I checked it out, I was I was uh, pleasantly surprised. A lot of people have good things to say about it. A lot of people have um, negative things to say about it. Uh, it's basically a right-left kind of issue. I don't know. I'm not a I'm not a politics guy. I'm a I'm a fool. I'm a moron. I'm a bum. So I I don't I don't really keep up with politics. But I know that if you hold a certain political view, this will determine how you feel about this special. If you hold a particular political viewpoint, it will determine how you feel about this special. If you are leftist, Democrat, that sort of thing, you, you're going to love it. If you're right, alt-right, conservative, you're going to hate it. That's probably just what it is, is what it boils down to. Uh, he talked about, I don't want to go through the entire special. Um, 
20 million people have checked out the special as of this moment. It's three days since it was released. 20 million people have checked it out. That just goes to show Dave's reach. 20 million people checking it out on YouTube. Dave has a big, has a, has still, has that drawing power. And that's not something you can really um, gauge from watching Netflix. I mean, Netflix knows, they know why they pay him what they pay him. <coughs> but as a fan, you don't know how many people are watching those specials that he puts out. You don't know how many people are are checking out, you know, those those um those comedy specials that he puts out on Netflix. You don't know how many people are checking those out because Netflix doesn't release those numbers. So it's good. To, that they put something like this on YouTube so that we can sort of see like how big Dave Chappelle really still is, how large and in charge Dave really still is and how big of an influence that Dave still has. <clears throat> so that was good to see. That was good to see. Other than that, um, what I would take away from this special is I don't think we're going to get Dave Chappelle on the Joe Rogan podcast. After seeing this special, I don't think he's going to be doing Joe Rogan because I think this was, this was his sort of interview kind of thing. And, he, and this was him basically saying, I don't want to give interviews. I don't want to do an op-ed piece. I don't want to engage in that sort of thing. I just want to take all of my thoughts on this issue and just sort of put it out for the public and let you deal with it how you want to deal with it. I think that's what he was doing. And I think that's fine. I think that's fair. I, I hate that I don't get to see him on Joe Rogan's podcast. I think that would be excellent to have Dave sitting up there riffing for three hours, but Dave is Dave. Dave is Dave, and Dave likes to... <clears throat> he likes to remain low-key. He likes to kind of be a an old... He's, he's sort of an old-school celebrity. He doesn't make a lot of appearances. He doesn't make himself that available. He's sort of in that Eddie Murphy camp. It's like you if unless he's doing a project, you're not going to see or really hear from Dave. You're not going to you're not going to see Dave every week. You're not going to hear from Dave every day. He's not going to do a podcast. He's he's not going to engage in that sort of thing. But I don't want to talk about everything that that he talked about in the special, but a couple of notable things. He talked about Christopher Dorner, and I think that was huge. I think Dave bringing attention to Chris Dorner and making him sort of a centerpiece in, um, in what is, because he spent a lot of time talking about Chris Dorner. Him making a centerpiece of Christopher Dorner in response to what's going on and 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 this police brutality. I think that was <clears throat> I think that was huge. I think that was huge that he um that he brought up Chris because they don't really talk about Chris much. They don't they don't they don't talk about many people who are considered terrorists. They don't really bring up terrorists that often because they I, I believe that the media doesn't want people to get to get any to get any ideas. So they they 
they keep they 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 talk about what they have to talk about on a surface level, but they don't really dig deeply into what these people's gripes are, what these people are going through. They don't really dig into that. That's for the public to go out on their own and they have to dig into that. But the news media is not really going to tell you what their, um, what their gripes are. But he talked about Christopher Dorner. He talked about how Christopher Dorner, you know, believed he had done everything right. He believed he had, he had done everything right. He went through the proper channels to, um, to, uh, to rectify a situation he had with a fellow white officer, a white woman who had, uh, who he thought used excessive force. Um, he, he, um, He talked about how he went through the proper channels. He lost his job, tried to get it back, couldn't get it back. And then he wrote a manifesto and started started killing people. And then they sent 400 people to take him out. So it was really a situation of Dave drawing a parallel between what happened to Christopher Dorner and the police showing up. I'm sorry, my throat's a little dry. I don't have any water in the room. <coughs> but he drew this comparison between what's happening with police officers and what is happening with the rioters. So I appreciated that. I thoroughly appreciated that. Um, he also talked about Candace Owens. Talked about her stanky pussy. Kicking her in her stanky pussy. If George Floyd kicked her in her stanky pussy. And that was fine. That was fine. That was... That was for a bit of levity, but he wanted to touch on her anyway and sort of draw attention to what she said and, you know, give his take on it, how it doesn't matter if George Floyd was a criminal, the fact that they killed him unjustified makes him the guy, makes him the guy. So I appreciated that. And he kind of gave, he talked about Laura Ingram, who I don't know much about. And he also name dropped Azalea Banks, which was funny. Now, I didn't get it at the time because I'm familiar with Azalea Banks, but I didn't know that Azalea Banks said that she had slept with Dave Chappelle. And she was going to ruin his marriage. I, I didn't get it. I didn't get the joke. I'm going to tell, like Azalea Banks, I'm going to tell that he, I didn't get the joke. But I went back and I, and I looked it up and then I, then I got the joke. But I I um I um looked at some other videos of some people talking about this subject and they took what Dave said as an admission of guilt that he actually slept with Azalea Banks based off of what he said in the special. You have got to be some of the dumbest motherfuckers 
in on the planet if you think what Dave said in that special was him saying that he admitted to sleeping with Azalea Banks. You got to be some of the crack pipe. I know I'm stupid. Okay, I know I'm dumb. I know I don't deserve a platform to be talking, but I am. But you motherfuckers uh, make me look like Einstein talking about Dave Chappelle was admitting that he slept. Now, I'm not saying that it's impossible for Dave to have fucked Azalea Banks. But all he did was wink at the audience when he did that. All, all that was for was to let you know that Dave knew about what Azalea Banks said about him. That's all he said that for. He just said that to let you know that, oh, I'm Dave Chappelle, and as big as I am, I'm aware of what Azalea Banks said about me. That's all that was for. That wasn't a confirmation that he fucked Azalea Banks. And which and it wouldn't be a bad lay because Azalea Banks is not that unattractive of a girl. She a little weird looking, but she's not unattractive. <clears throat> but he didn't admit to fucking her. He didn't admit to shit. But those are pretty much my thoughts on the special. One thing I will, another thing I'll say is Netflix is a bitch for taking down the reactors reactions to the special. Netflix is a bitch for that. Um, I don't like that. I don't like that Netflix did that. Um, because I want to be a reactor one day. Once I figure out computers and I figure out how to get them some things going, I want to have a reaction channel. It's not going to be this channel. I know I have a, a couple of reaction videos on this channel, but I want to dedicate a whole other channel to reactions. And I want to become a reaction channel, but I only want to do it if I can make some money off of it. And I hate that they cutting into motherfuckers shit with this, with this banning the video of of people reacting to Dave Chappelle. I like reaction channels. It's on YouTube. We want to see what other YouTubers feel about the Dave Chappelle special, so let motherfuckers react. It's free on YouTube. You, it, don't, it don't cost you nothing to let people... I can see if they were posting whole uh, comedy specials off of Netflix on the, on on here that's something you have to pay to see but you don't pay for YouTube YouTube is free so let motherfuckers react to it that's pretty much all I got to say in this video um, I'm gonna try to start making videos more regularly I'm gonna try to get back at this I just need subject matter I don't care about a lot man oblivion's coming and ain't no and ain't enough people trying to do anything about it. Not enough people are trying to do it. Not, <clears throat> not enough people are trying to do something about it. They just letting it happen. So why should I give a fuck about anything? So I'm the realest man on YouTube. Check me out. Check out some of my other videos. Some of my other videos are trash, but I'm a work in progress. I'm going to get a haircut eventually. I ain't had a haircut since the Rona took over. But that's pretty much all I got to say, y'all. Uh, feels good to be back. I'm going to try to make better videos. Hold on.
I'm going to try to make better videos than I've ever made before. I'm going to try to write some things down before I make videos. Usually, when I make a video, I just pick a topic and I just riff. But now I'm going to try to start writing some things down before I make the video. Um, anyway, that's all I got to say about Dave Chappelle's 846. Um, check it out if you haven't seen it. Join the millions and, and millions of people who've checked it out. Um, I will say it's great for what it was, for what it represented, for what it was supposed to do. I wish that Dave had done a formal interview with some, a long form podcast with somebody <clears throat> instead of this, but this was great. Check it out. And that is all I got to say. I will check you out in the next video. Peace.